And now we take you to the office of Major Henry Burton, U.S. Army Intelligence. Oh, pardon me. I didn't know you were here. Be with you in a minute. Well, looks as though we have secret messages, even in our lunch. But wait a minute. Let me show you something. Several years ago, we captured a spy who had a lunchbox just like this one. We found the message on the bottom and couldn't decode it. Then we caught him just before he was about to swallow the message in the sandwich. And by putting the two together, we were able to solve the code. Here are the two messages. I'm quite sure that this is a transposition code. In a substitution code, there are usually uh, a number of X's, Z's, Q's, and other rarely used letters. Our first suspicion, since this message is in two parts, is that it's our old friend, the rail fence code. Now let's see what we get by reading from line to line. B-I-F-O-T, which spells nothing. Nor do we get anything by reading every other letter. B-T-A-M. Now there's the matter of that signature, Joe. Now really, in a code message, there's no need at all for a signature, unless it's a key. And I'm betting that this word Joe, since it contains three letters, is a signal for us to break it up in threes. Let me show you. B. F, T. It's crystal clear. Bombing factory tonight. And mighty nice to know about before it happens. Be sure to come back next week and I'll show you a very interesting hidden object code. Don't fail to see Ears of the Enemy, Chapter 11 of The Secret Code.